Again. Hi again, everybody. My name is Dylan Black. Of course, this is Daytime Ottawa right here on a Monday, and we're proud to have you with us. You know, the Sons of Scotland have been around for quite some time, and uh, they're proud to bring you Scotland tonight. We have all the details on that cool event coming up in moments. First, we say hello to Pipe Major with the Sons of Scotland Pipe Band, Bethany Basilian. Nice to have you here. Thanks, Dylan. Thanks for having us back. And can I give a bit of a teaser? We're going to have a performance coming up with some amazing dancers. We the are. The segment. We Looking are. forward to it. How long has the Sons of Scotland Pipe Band been around for? 100 123 years. Woo. Yes, it's just getting time. started. So tell us a bit about what happens with this amazing pipe band. We teach people in the community that want to learn the pipes or drums, and then we encourage them to go out and play and mm -hmm. support our band and other bands. We do parades, we do charity work, we do concerts, trips, competition. We do lots of everything. Okay. Yep. Do you provide the, uh, the, the pipes, the drums, uh, all the equipment that is needed? Everything except the bagpipes. So you have to get your own bagpipe, but... The band supplies uniforms, drums, practice hall, lots That's of something. things. How, how many members are there right now? 75, 75. on paper. 75? Yeah. On paper. What on paper. They? That's like the ones that like they don't all show up. Is that what you're yeah, saying? Yeah, you know those guys. <laughs> eh? <laughs> Interesting. Now, uh, how do you become a pipe major? Because that seems like it's high up in the, in the ranks, correct? Uh, yeah. I have a team of officers and directors underneath me, but I've been pipe major for... 21 years now. 21 the sons, years. I'm kind of bossy, but you know that already. No, well, so. no, not at all. Yes, it well, come yes, across. it's true. And it helps to having that <laughs> skill set. It does, because I imagine you've got, you got to keep all these people organized yeah. in all these big events, including yeah. this one coming up November 16th at the Shankman Arts Centre. This show has been around for some time, too, right? Yeah, about 17 years now we've had Scotland tonight. So it's like a variety show, mm -hmm. local talent. And normally pipe bands can perform anywhere, you know, barns and fields. This is a nice chance for us to celebrate everyone's work in a beautiful theater. So a Very classy, yeah. beautiful, intimate theater. And you work hand in hand with the amazing uh, Catherine Robinson School of Dance. That's right. She was one of my early dance instructors, too. Mm -hmm. yeah. Okay. Yeah. So, so how many dancers will there be? How many people in total will there be for this whole event? Well, there'll be hundreds. The choirs alone are 130 people. My goodness. There'll be about 250 people in the cast alone. Really? Yes. That seems to be a lot to, to keep organized. Yes. I have a picture of the choir right there. That's a lot of people. That's, yeah. So let's talk about the participants. What will people see at uh, Scotland tonight? There'll be lots of piping, traditional pipe band work, piping and drumming. There'll be lots of highland dancing, step dancing, and Scottish country dancing type work, some choreography, and of course the two choirs in the Ottawa Catholic District School Board. Mm -hmm. There's an intermission with free coffee and tea and Biscuits. Good. Oh, yes. Biscuits. Everyone likes a good biscuit. <laughs> uh, yes, that's <laughs> definitely true. Uh, lots of great people in our community have been supporting you as well. Absolutely. Different shows. We have different sponsors. For this one, we have Scotiabank. Uh, we also have the Highlander Pub and Articipate, which is a grant program through Shankman. That's wonderful. Yes, because, so tell me more about that grant program that you received. I think uh, Shankman this year got a donation of some funding, and they wanted to help some of the groups that come through on a regular basis, so they encourage everyone to fill out an application and submit it so we did we worked with them we put it through and we were grateful we normally don't get much in terms of grants it's hard to find them for pipe bands because mm -hmm. they're not like other genres where mm -hmm. there's already earmarked funding we're a little unique so unique it's tough in to the find. best possible way i agree okay. oh good i'm glad you agreed okay so that is coming up on November 16th. Tickets are only $25, correct? $25, wow. that's right. Wow, got to go quick because there's not many seats at Shankman. That's right, and we're uh, pretty much hitting half sold out now, so you've got to move fast. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's talk about some other events before we get to the performance coming up in a moment. Uh, November 9th, 11th, very important as far as uh, you're concerned, Absolutely. your band is concerned. November is a busy time for pipe bands. Mm -hmm. We have uh, this Saturday, November 2nd, at the Billingsbridge Plaza, we're kicking off the Poppy Campaign. With our friends from Montgomery Legion, we'll be down with Poppy, so the band's going to play through the mall at 12 noon. Oh, that's nice. So that's November 2nd, yeah. and then into November, November Remembrance 9th. Day coming on. Yeah, at the Dominion Tavern down on York Street. We also do another show to, there to support the same branch with some other rock and roll band. So that's a, a big night, and that's our 15th anniversary. Mm -hmm. And then, of course, November the 11th, we parade in Russell. Mm -hmm. We hope everyone can get out and support mm -hmm. their local Super ceremony. important. Yeah. Uh, the Ottawa City Piping College is something you're involved in. That's my well. school. Yeah. That's my school. So is that where uh, some of the young people, the older people too, anybody's invited? Correct? Any age. Any yeah. age. People love to learn at any age. And if you want to learn the bagpipes, I think it's something that's in you and you need to do it. So it's quite wonderful to see people starting. People that retire even want to pick up an instrument. Mm -hmm. Is it you. difficult to pick up a bagpipe and, and learn? Yeah. 
<laughs> okay. Yeah. It must be, though. It it's, looks like there's lots going on there. It's a very rustic instrument. It's very fussy, too. Any pipe, piper will tell you it's all about the reeds and the blowing, and the, you have to stay committed to it because it, it can be quite the challenge. I can imagine. You were mentioning uh, funds uh, are very important. Uh, donations are always accepted. Always. Yeah. yeah. That's, that's an important part of what you do, correct? We don't have a sponsor. We have zero sponsorship, so we have to raise all of the money ourselves. A lot of pipe bands are in that same area. So if you can support your local pipe band, I'd say do it. Mm -hmm. It's going to great causes. And then we can in turn go into the community and keep working. Yeah. yeah. Your band is uh, available to be booked. Yeah. Go through your website. Okay. So Scotland tonight, Saturday, November 16th, Shankman Arts Centre. Uh, who's going to be performing with you here coming up in moments? <gasps> These wonderful Seconds. dancers. We have Carrie. Kaylee and Gwen that are going to do the Highland Fling for you today. Okay, and of course there are dancers with the Catherine Robinson School of Dance. That's correct, which yes. Which is super amazing. And you're going to be playing the bagpipes with us, right? I am. Yeah, all right, yeah. cool. We look forward to this right now. Uh, get your tickets before it sells out. Scotland Tonight is coming Saturday, November 16th, as I mentioned. And here we go, a great performance with Bethany and uh, these amazing dancers right here on Daytime.